Hi everybody, I am Dr. R. Mainavati from the Department of Information Technology. Today, in this session, we are going to see about NoSQL database. So before getting into NoSQL database, we are going to see about the RDBMS characteristics which we follow for our SQL, that is structured query language. Normally, whenever you go for databases, we will have structured query language for creation of tables and manipulating over the data within that table. So we have transaction oriented properties for no, uh, RDBMS type of tables. So transaction oriented properties in the sense we will follow asset property that is A for atomicity, C for uh, consistency, I for isolation and D for durability. So normally whenever you say about RDBMS database or the data tables what we have for your no SQ, sorry, SQL, we follow asset properties. But this asset properties is not the case, we cannot implement that as it is with reference to your uh, big data. So that's only you go for no SQL type of databases. So what is no SQL? Normally no SQL uh, will stand for not only SQL. In additionally we also term it is not RDBMS, it is not non-relational. That is it is uh, not with reference to your RDBMS tables. So it is a type of database wherein you have an activity put together with the collection of RDBMS SQL queries along with that some other properties which you say as cap theorem which will be taken over by NoSQL uh, type of uh, transactions, right? So where does NoSQL comes from? It is mainly founder that it is started in Google's big table. So Google started representing NoSQL in the form of uh, big table and uh, apart from that Dynamo you have as a database uh, produced uh, by another uh, Lucent's developer or Apache Hadoop where it is also following the NoSQL uh, structure. So the major uh, thing which led to the movement of NoSQL is your uh, Google big table Amazon Dynamo and Cap Theorem which with the replacement for the asset theorem what we have in RDBMS. So consistency, availability and partitioning. So this is the Cap Theorem which we will uh, discuss later in further slides. And uh, what is the relation between NoSQL and the big data? Why we go for NoSQL? Why is not our SQL is sufficient to handle big data? So as you all know big data is normally represented as three V's that is volume, velocity and variety. So you have bulk number of data represented as volumes, you have the different types of data and also the speed in which the data is recovered or it is retained in your server is represented as big data. So this big data should be saved in a particular database and RDBMS types of database is not sufficient for, the, for that. So we go for NoSQL. So the rest we can uh, see it in the next session. Thank you all.